I think it was a long time ago when I first made a video about the benefits of journaling and what they can do for you. Now, in this channel, I talk about things that I'm passionate about. Doesn't matter if it's tech, traveling, anything with mental health or physical. In today's video, I actually want to talk about the iOS 17.2, Apple's latest update, the software update in the iOS realm, which introduces numerous things. However, one thing I want to talk about in today's video is the journal app. Now, I'm an avid fan of journaling. It amazes me how every time I journal, I instantly feel good. Or maybe if it's a gradual thing, it always end up feeling good, calm, and not even good, but just like better than what I was feeling or more, I guess, clearer than what I was feeling as opposed to if I didn't journal. I always said it for ages, you visually see your thoughts on a piece of paper, you can see them, you can see the errors in your thinking, the things that you're doing good, the things that you're stuffing up, and you can incrementally work towards your goal. Now, yes, this is going to turn some people off. You can't actually do it on your piece of paper. It's obviously part of the iPhone's latest update. And yes, you will be using screen time while you are journaling, and you might get distracted while you're journaling if you don't have the focus mode on or any do not disturb systems operating at that time. That is a big con and straight away, people might just watch this video and be like, okay, no, I'm not gonna journal like that. I'm going to be traditional. I'm going to be like old fashioned and I'm going to journal how I've always journaled on my book. I'm gonna put my phone away. That's completely fine. And if you're one of those people, I can relate to you. Honestly, I am that person as well. Even though this new journal app has been released, I am curious how much I'm actually going to use it. You, who knows, it might actually go on me because it is more easier, it's more efficient, it's much quicker. I don't have to worry about pens running out, papers running out, um, bad writing. So if I want to read it again, if I wrote something in a rush, I won't be able to interpret it. Now, in order to obviously get this app, you need to update your iPhone to the latest update. As we're speaking, there's actually been another quick update. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna screen record my phone. Now, journal, I go there, and what's gonna happen here, so right off the bat, first of all, it's so fast because the A17 Pro chip, chip is just insane. Um, so it's probably even faster than, it is faster to go get your journal book from your closet or wherever you put it and get a pen and sit down. It's right there in the palm of your hands. Okay, now, I have just randomly put in some journal entries here, and they literally were like, 15 minutes ago. Um, so I actually haven't had the opportunity to use this app too much to actually journal it. I have used it to see what I can do with it and what features are available or embedded within it, but I have not, I guess, you know, used it how I would normally use a journal. You can add a normal entry, just like I've done here. Hey, this is a new journal app, keen to see how this is gonna go. If I go here and edit it, um, I can add more stuff to it. Yeah, pretty simple. This is a photo that I've added. Now, uh, Black Ops 1, for people that don't know, was my favorite Call of Duty. I haven't played Call of Duty for so long. I still play PS5 games or just PlayStation games, even PC sometimes. But I recently heard that uh, Black Ops is making a sequel to Black Ops 2. It's gonna be sequel, direct sequel to Black Ops from 2010. Not Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, which is available right now. And it's gonna come out in 2025. Anyway, I did a little journal entry for that. I embedded the photo in, something that I can't really do in a normal gen journal entry, unless I'm a great drawer, which I can't really draw. But I added the image in and I said, I can't believe they're making a sequel to the original Black Ops. And I just pressed that. I also added a random video I was like recording myself on the iPhone ages ago, uh, just watching my Kyle's, I think it was for one of my videos. And then I actually, I actually did wash my car today. Um, and it says, washed my car today, cleaning my car gives me a cathartic feeling. I'm gonna start doing it more often. So it's a short journal entry. Usually my journal entries are way longer. This like I sit there for like 10, 15, 20, even half an hour just writing away. But for the sake of this video and I didn't really have that much time. I just wanted to like provide three different journal entries. Now, if I go and edit right there, I can actually do more things to it. I can add photos and videos and all that shebang. Like I told you guys, you can take a photo on the spot right now. I'm gonna cancel that. And then you can also record yourself and have a voice memo embedded. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a, I guess, video about the newer iOS update and the journaling app, Callaway. I'm gonna pause it. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a, I guess, video about the newer iOS update and the journaling app, Callaway. And then that's it, that's saved. 
within that specific journal entry. So this is right on top. So I had this kind of, hey, this is the new journal app, keen to see how this is gonna go. Then I actually added a audio um, aspect, an audio recording just on top of it, and it just saves it. Again, something you can't really do on a piece of paper with a pen. Um, you can also talk about search and location. So if you for, will say, I don't know, you're traveling somewhere or you just, you really like the place and you're really deep, deep into nature and you're just really engrossed in the environment that you're in, you can just search the location where you are. And then I mean, I'm just gonna say, for this video, I'm just gonna say Royal Botanical Gardens because been, there's been numerous times where I've had really good experiences there. So I'm gonna press Royal Botanical Gardens that's the, and then as soon as I press that, that goes into that specific journal entry. So now you've got the location, you've added the audio clip there as well. And there's also a description for my earlier, I guess, post. Hey, this is the new journal app, keen to see how this is gonna go. Again, something you can't really do on a piece of paper or my journal book. So this is where the technology aspect is gonna triumph any kind of old fashioned ways of journaling. Now that that's done, I think I've pretty much covered anything I need to do. If I wanna add a new journal entry, this is where it gets really interesting. Now, I think when you first download the journal app, Apple's gonna ask you a question, would you allow recommended journal questions or suggestions, series suggestions? If I was you, I'd press yes. Usually I don't press yes to series suggestions a lot. I honestly find them quite annoying. But in this case, I would, and I'll tell you why. Sometimes you just go through those days where you actually don't know what to write. You don't know what to write but you do want to write that day and you're just not sure what you want to write about well my friends if you go down it actually gives you a bunch of reflection questions sentence starters prompting questions right to gauge learning or to gauge engagement there's a bunch of them describe the most memorable part of your week do you enjoy daydreaming what do you learn about yourself or record an audio memo to future you what about this time in your current life do you want to capture that's that's actually i really like that i'm not gonna do another audio because you guys have already heard my voice and I'm pretty sure these reflection prompts change by the daily. Because the last time I looked at this, these weren't the questions. And if I click the reflection one, one of the first ones, and describe the most memorable part of your week. My most memorable part of my week, week was when my students said they want me as their teacher again, want me as their teacher again next year. Well, not all of them, some of them, but you get, this, you get the gist, right? Like that was my, that, that made me feel really good about myself and my teaching practices. And I've added that, and now that's gonna be embedded in there. So I highly recommend you turning on series suggestions. Again, yes, I know that the suggestions thing has always kind of been annoying. Um, I kind of find it like as an impediment sometimes to what I'm working towards, especially with my phone. But in this case, I really like it. Now, if you if I go at the very top, no, sorry, if I wanna just delete an entry, I just kind of swipe left and then, you know, you can edit or delete. Those are the quick action prompts, which I've always loved. You can do that to anything that you've added. If you wanna to go to the very top, top right, you see those three, I guess the three bars, the horizontal bars or the, uh, the burger patties, whatever you wanna call it, that's just a filter, all right? So you can, if I just wanna look at photos, it's just gonna be the it's just gonna be show me entries that have photos embedded in them. Because this is just the start. Imagine if you've been using this app for like a year and you journal like almost every day. It's gonna be full and you really don't wanna be scrolling up and down. Reflections, uh, places, it's gonna come up with the botanical gardens like I added. But this is not really covered that much in the app and they don't tell you, but if you go in settings, which I really recommend you do when you download this app or when you update this iOS, you press journal. I don't know about you, but my journals are quite private. If someone wants to go through my phone, if I just random person just, I don't know if my phone gets stolen or something like that, and someone goes on the app, I want it to be locked, right? So, and I'm gonna lock it. And it's gonna ask me, how often do I wanna lock it? After one minute, after five minutes, after 15 minutes. I'm gonna say immediately because again, it's private, right? I think, I don't think anyone wants to I personally don't feel comfortable other people reading my journal and vice versa. I, I don't think they'd be comfortable as well. So I would require the passcode. If you're serious about this app, please do. That's the first thing you should do. Um, if you want to do a journaling, journaling schedule, that's really great. I'm not going to turn that on, but because I know when I'm going to journal, I'm quite disciplined with this. So I don't have to worry about that. But basically your phone's going to remind you just like reminders, right? 
which specific time you want to journal. It's going to tell you, hey, it's time to journal and what time you want it and what day you want that. So that's pretty cool. I like that as well. Save to photos. Save photos and videos taken in journal into the photos app. I'm going to keep that off. Skip journaling suggestions. Create new entries without viewing suggestions list. Um, that is off because again, like I said, I do like the suggestions and they kind of give me something to think about. They just like kickstart my brain sometimes, which is great. Location, I've got it while using. Microphone's obviously on for the audio members, camera, face ID, you can have that on. Background app fresh, mobile data, if you're outside, and then yeah, photos, private access as well. Apple says that it has end-to-end -end encryption between your device and iCloud, and it uses on-device processes to create journaling suggestions, including reflections. That basically means the data it uses stays on your phone. No one but you can access your journal, not even Apple. That's what they're saying. Also, if you're uploading any video files, it needs to be under 500 megabytes, so I you can't really have a two to three minute video that you have shot in 4K. So it, it is going to come with some limitations. I also read somewhere that journal, the journal app is just another way for you to get locked or trapped, uh, as some people say it, in the Apple ecosystem. I've been trapped for years, so I don't really care at this point, and I actually enjoy being trapped, but it's just another cool thing that they've added, and it does differ from the Notes app a little bit, because the Notes are just like quick aspects, like, oh, I just want to write this down before I forget, or I need to give this thing to someone else, or, because I never really use a reminders app. I don't know about you guys, I just always use a notes app. However, I feel journal is more personalized. I think I'm going to use it. I think it has a lot of cool features, and there's obviously going to be a lot of new updates that they're just going to keep rolling out. Look, journaling for me has always been about mindfulness, about reflecting on all the great things that you have in your life, and just working on your biggest errors, or, you know, just your character traits that you're probably not the most proud of or goals you want to achieve. Journaling itself is just, it's an awesome tool. And it's a practice that I've definitely embedded in my life. I wish I would do it more. And I, every time I always try to do it, every time I do it, I end up just loving it. It's never been a dull moment where I'm like, I've journaled. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have journaled. I feel worse now. It's always just really good. It's like going to the gym for me. Even the days I don't want to go to the gym and I end up going, I feel amazing. It's never been a dull moment. That's my take on it. I think there's gonna be some exciting things with it. But at the end of the day, if you don't have a fancy phone or a crazy iOS software, or you're not part of an ecosystem, or even if you're an Android user and you don't have something like that or a third party app, whatever, you can always borrow or you can always get a pen. If you're watching this video, you can always get a pen from somewhere and a piece of paper and just sit down and just write. Write about your day, write what you're excited about, write what you see yourself 10 years from now right where you think you did things wrong and right where you think you can build your character up and be the best version of yourself you possibly can. Anyway, that's my video. Um, thank you so much for watching, appreciate it. I'm gonna be pumping out a few videos very soon because I'm going to India as well. I think I'm also encroaching my 100th video, so that's gonna be soon as well. Gonna do a Q&A for that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and share. Your support means a lot to my little small channel here but every viewer counts and every subscriber means a lot. Thanks so much guys, appreciate it.